Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to prepare and import your logo to Laser OS. I'm going to be using Illustrator, but keep in mind that you can use any software that handles vectors and exports SVGs. We'll start off with an image reference file, so let's import it into a new square canvas. And for this tutorial, I'm going to show you three image logos with different complexity and a logo that has already been vectorized. It's important to know what the limits are on your projector, and if you have too many lines, it will get distorted, so if your logo is complex, then you might have to simplify it. First one will be the target logo. This one is simple and just needs three circles. I copy the main color as a stroke and I'm putting the logo image in its own layer with a low opacity. That way I can make a new layer and trace over it. To get a readable SVG, we need to use static strokes. So we will be using the pen tool, shape tools, and the pencil tool. Pencil tool is if you wish to freehand with a tablet. Stroke size won't really matter in LaserOS, but it will read the color of the stroke and since it supports gradients, you might want to take advantage of that. And remember to remove the image layer file. Next up is the Slack logo. Same preparation as before, and this one will be made with rectangles. Once I set up every rectangle to its place, I use the round the corners feature to turn them into cylinders. I don't want to focus too much on how to draw or trace your logos because there's a lot of ways to do each one, and it's a skill of its own. But I will show you how I use the shape tools and the pen tool in the following examples. Another tool I use is the shape builder tool, which allows you to combine and intersect shapes and strokes. Now that I finished Slack, I move on to the next one, and same process as before. Don't forget to remove the image layer when you're done. And now we have Adidas, which we can build with manual shapes. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use the pen tool, which allows you to create more complex paths. And it's a good way to draw with your mouse as well. Since the shapes are symmetrical, I'm just going to draw half of it, duplicate it, and flip it horizontally. Then I'll combine them with either the Pathfinder Join tool or the Shape Builder tool that I mentioned in the last logo. Now that I have strokes, for this example, I'm going to use gradients. First off, I'll change the color from static to gradient on the left toolbar, then use the gradient window which you can find under the window toolbar. Then just double click on the color box that you want to change. If it shows as black and white like it is for me, you can set it to RGB or CMYK in the top right so you can choose the actual values for color. Remember as well that you can change the direction of the gradient so you can make it vertical or at any degree that you want. And the last thing I did right there is show it behind a black background so I can see how it will actually look when I project it. Now that we have our three logos, it's time to export them and import them to the software. So go to Save As and choose SVG. And the only important step here is to select more options and choose Presentation Attributes under CSS Properties. And this is necessary for the software to read your colors and gradients. So I'll open up Laser OS. Then we'll go to the Import In menu, the top choice, and find our SVG. Then just select Open. You can also import multiple SVGs at a time. And that's it. So now I'm going to show you how they look. And we're going to move on to the last one, which is already a vector file. And this is simple. You probably already have your logo as fills, and you just have to turn that into strokes. So I'm going to separate each one. I'm going to select them and then press Shift X. And that's everything we need to turn them into strokes. Next up, I'll do the same steps and I'll import it, and this is how it looks. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, let us know in the comments.